I've been in ASL for seven years. I came in in 1997, so you can do the math. That's uh, 23 years. I have worked at ASL for seven years now. I've been at ASL for 19 years. I came in 2001. If all goes according to plan, I will be moving to Indonesia at the end of July and starting a job as a counselor at the Jakarta Intercultural School. I mean, what, what I'm going to be doing is uh, working with uh, the National Trust, the Royal Society for Protection of Birds, and the Suffolk Wildlife Trust directly with their conservation programs. Um, well, I'm already in Portland right now. I've moved back to Portland, Oregon, and I am planning on working in um, a mental health um, organization. I'll continue the work I do in mindfulness and education, but especially working with teachers. School pays much more attention to social and emotional well-being than it used to. Um, so I think our sense of ourselves as a community has changed a lot. And I think also the student body's become a lot more varied than it used to be. It's always been international, but believe it or not, it's more international now than it used to be. So I feel like um, my first three years, the high school went from being a more formal place to being more fun. I, th I think what happened was um, we started the faculty musical, which was like a big change, and also the advisory program. And I think those two things really um, changed the vibe of the high school. Hmm. That's an interesting question for me because I'm in an unusual situation. I'm an English person who went to the USA, lived there for 17 years, and then came back. So the way that ASL changed me was that it let me recombine the two sides of my life into one. So I was in England with my family, but all that I'd learned over the years from being in the States was still current. So actually it gave me a really nice feeling of integration and I'm, I can't imagine any other school anywhere that could have done that. I never, I grew up in Southern California. My entire family, all 50 plus extended family are in California, essentially. Uh, that has always been home for me. And I always thought that that would be considered my forever home after seven years of London, but it's not London. It's after seven years of ASL. It's this feels like home it, it in a way that I never thought that it would. My favorite memory, I think, is the very first year we did the faculty musical. We were really nervous. It was going to be a complete surprise. And I remember being backstage with um, like Mr. Basu and Miss Craig, and we were like, uh, and Miss Neutrino and our hearts were beating so fast and we were like I don't know if they're gonna like it and then we heard all the screams coming from the crowd and um I think that was actually really fun because we had worked really hard on it oh gosh so many uh I mean one of the great things about ASL is, is it offers so many different experiences uh, I think rather like with students the things that stick in your mind is is, is the trips that you've taken and the, and the the opportunity you've had to do things that are outside the classroom quite frankly I mean I, don't get me wrong I've, I've enjoyed you know teaching in the classroom but you know the the, the trips that we go on you know on to on alternatives you know I, I was privileged for for several years to, to run the uh, ecology course where we took kids down to South Africa that was an extraordinary uh, experience yeah the music tours those are great I, I love the the, the 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 drama and the music you know the, the concerts that we have it's just 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 it's also wonderful really it's not hard to pick any one thing my office I could not have asked for a better group of people to learn with and to grow with, uh, both as colleagues and, and dear friends. I think, I think actually, out of all things, they've been the most consistent aspect of my entire ASL career, and I'm going to miss every one of them deeply.
post it's easy i will miss my students and i will miss my colleagues and i really wonder how it'll feel without them. probably at this point in time the the biggest thank you is that the class of 2020 who modeled uh unbelievable levels of warmth and kindness and curiosity and um, initiation for all kinds of really fascinating endeavors that that hopefully will last i, I have to, to to thank the members of my department you know particularly uh, our head of department andrew uh bill kenny who i worked with for a long time all all, all the science teachers you know i'm gonna I, I miss you guys and uh, you know, you've given me so much personally as well as professionally. There are so many people I would like to thank. What I'm gonna do is I'm doing my best to write to the people one by one amongst my colleagues that I'd like to thank. And I, I look forward to being in touch with my students, yeah. So I just wanna thank all of my colleagues there who I've worked with and who have, um, who I've trusted and who have trusted me to, um, you know, create a good environment at the school and um thank you to um particularly like all of the deans who i've worked closely with and to um like mr perry who helped me chaperone uh, my my peer leadership trip this year and to miss mula who keeps track of everyone when i've lost a student she helps me find them and um yeah really to everybody mm -hmm.